What's up guys, Wrestler Blake here, and uh, this is like the third take of me trying to do this, so let's try to get it right this time. I haven't had as much gameplay stuff uh, posted as I wanted to. I've been, you know, crazy busy with school and stuff, and I'm going to start this new series. Um, it's called Blake's Shitty Girlfriend Stories. My friends at school have really wanted me to start this series because I've told them most of my stories, and they always find them pretty interesting. Right now, you're probably going to have gameplay going. Eventually, when I'm comfortable enough, I may do like video recording of me because I feel like my hand motions and gestures are make it make the story better. Um, so maybe one day you guys would see that. Or for now, you know, just imagine that I'm very animated and crazy and whatnot. So for today's shitty girlfriend story, I will talk about... Uh, this would be my most recent serious relationship. Uh, lasted about 10, almost 12 months. Um, I guess that 10 to 12 month span is kind of a big jump, but uh, you'll, you'll see what I mean here in a little bit. Well, uh, started off, I was going to my friend's house for a Super Bowl party. I had a bunch of rich friends in high school because I went to a private school. Uh, I was the only like not rich kid there. Um, I always went to my buddy's house, they never really went to mine, and I was going to my friend's like gigantic mansion, you know, multi-million dollar mansion, out on the water for this Super Bowl party, and when I got there, there was this stunningly beautiful girl, and I was trying to figure out, you know, I need to speak to this girl, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I need to find a way. Eventually, I found out we both didn't care about who was in the Super Bowl that year, because it was like two teams, like the Seahawks and... Um, Steelers, both teams that I don't really care about, and she didn't care about it either. And I was like, cool, that's going to be how we're going to talk to each other. So we started talking, and I actually did not get her number on that first night, even though her and I hit it off pretty well. Uh, eventually I did track her down on Facebook through our mutual friends, and after talking for a couple days, uh, I ended up getting her number, and, you know, things obviously went great from there. Um, like I said, we dated about ten, uh, a little over 10 months, and I actually, it was amazing. It was one of, you know, my favorite relationships, I guess. And um, around the same time that we started dating, I had been working at a movie theater, and I loved my job there. Um, I was let go because of um, some garbage that happened at work. Uh, maybe I'll talk about that for a different story, but that's not a shitty girlfriend story, so we're going to leave that out. Let's just, I, I got fired from my movie theater job. And my best friend, who I'd known for quite a while, uh, we're going to call him Caleb, he got me a job at GameStop, which was like my dream job at the time. And it was awesome. I was like, sweet, you know, I'm going to finally work at GameStop. It's going to be sweet. And uh, so I was working there. Uh, he was my supervisor. And we, let's see, I, I'd worked there a seasonal, and it was, okay, here's where it starts. My girlfriend's birthday was coming up, and I had gotten four free tickets to Next Big Thing, which was a concert she really, really wanted to go to, and the concert I really wanted to go to. So the four tickets were going to go to, one was going to go to me, one was going to go to her, one was going to go to my best friend, and one was going to go to, like, if he, I gave him the other one to bring a girl so we could have, like, a double date. And he thought it was an awesome idea, he was super happy. Um, we ended up going, and... The girl that he brought along ditched us after like five minutes. And I was like, great, you know, good job, Caleb. That was garbage. And uh, he just hung out with us, you know, for the rest of the time. And it was my, my girlfriend's birthday, so she was actually throwing a party back at her place after Next Big Thing. And unfortunately, though, she didn't have many friends, and the friends that she did invite didn't end up showing up to her party. Now, I had work the next day, so I wasn't able to stay super late, so I said, hey, Caleb, you know, do you think you could stay a little bit later and uh, maybe hang out with her so she's not alone on her birthday? And he was like, yeah, yeah, sure, definitely, man. And now, I know what you're thinking, you know, this is like, oh, Blake, you should have noticed, but this is, it has nothing to do with it. It was actually totally fine. Him and I even joked later about, like, if he ever touched her, I would have stabbed him or something. But... What did end up happening was the, you know, next day at work, I talked to him about it, and he was like, yeah, you know, she was really happy uh, that, you know, you were cool with me staying. 
And I was like, okay, awesome. And then he actually started talking to a girl that worked at the Panera that we went to. Or at least that's, yeah, he had said he was speaking to this girl that, that worked at the Panera that uh, I didn't go to, but that he had frequented on um, breaks at work. And I was like, oh, wow, that's awesome. You know, we can go on double days and stuff. And he's like, yeah, definitely, man. And then, you know, fast forward to, uh, to December around uh, my birthday, which is December 24th. I'm a Christmas Eve baby. And my girlfriends have always wanted to make my birthday a big deal. To me, birthdays are like, you know, whatever. It's not a big deal because it's so it's right next to Christmas. But they always wanted to make it special, and I've always been thankful for that. And um, she wanted to come and spend the night since my parents were going to be out of town. And I was like, definitely, that's awesome. And then uh, three days before my birthday, she just radio silenced me. Like, there was nothing coming from her. I heard no texts, no calls. I tried calling her, she didn't answer. I tried texting her, she didn't answer. And I was like, you know, what's going on? And uh, day of my birthday, she comes to my house and then calls me and says, hey, I'm outside. And I was like, oh, cool, you know, I'm gonna go out there. You know, we're gonna hang out. It's gonna be awesome, you know, Blake day, sweet. <clears throat> and uh, I end up walking outside and she's holding my presents. And I was like, oh, cool, you know. And I go up and I can see she's like visibly bothered by something. Just her face kind of doesn't look natural. And I was like, are you okay? Is something wrong? And I, looking back on it now, I feel like I, I, or she shed a tear maybe, but I'm not positive on that. So, you know, maybe she didn't. And uh, she just kind of looked down and she started laughing. And I was like, you know, how come you're laughing? I don't. I don't, you know, I'm, I'm actually upset that you haven't been speaking to me, so I don't understand what's so funny at this moment. And she said, here are your gifts, uh, we can't be together. And I was like, taken aback, I was like, what, on my birthday you're gonna tell me we can't be together? And she's like, well I've been cheating on you, and I think you know who it was with. And immediately my mind shot to her ex-boyfriend who she had been speaking to for she had gotten back on speaking terms with and honestly I was really self-conscious about my image and whatnot so I was always thinking you know oh she's gonna find out a really hot guy or something and I thought she did and I was upset and I said you know you need to get off my property now I'm I don't even want to see you you know leave me alone and I didn't see her and uh, about Oh, sorry, I'm going ahead of myself. That night, my buddy Caleb and then my two other best friends, who I'll actually name uh, David and Will, came over, and we were all drinking because it was my 21st birthday, and it was awesome. You know, I was having fun. It was cool. And then around 12 o'clock, um, Caleb said, hey, I need to go to that girl's house. She wanted to spend uh, Christmas at 12 with me. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, you know, go ahead, man. Sounds cool. And he left, and then it was just me and my two buddies. Actually, we made a video that night. Uh, it was my first drunk gaming video, playing um, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. That was that was a night to be had. And I, um, let me think. I'm trying to get my thoughts together here. Oh, here we go. It was like one week later, I um, walked into GameStop. I had been, to, to kind of calm my feelings, I had been playing Skylanders Giants, which is an adult game. It's not just meant for children. It's super fun. It's like Pokemon, but not nearly as cool. And I called up my buddy Caleb. I said, hey, if we have any extra Giants or any new figures, can you hold them in the back for me? I'm going to swing by and get some. And he was like, yeah, sure, man. Uh, do you know when you're going to be here? I was like, yeah, I'll probably be there in like, you know, 15, 20 minutes or something, just drive time. And he was like, oh, okay, cool, I might still be here. I was like, all right. And then I drove there, and I got there way quicker than normal. I got there like in like two minutes because I hit like all green lights on the highway or on the US-19. And I get there, and while I'm standing in line, I notice there is a blonde girl trying to hide herself from me and like behind the shelves and stuff. And I was like, you know, what's going on here? And I uh, walked around the shelves, and I notice it is my ex-girlfriend uh, wearing an oversized jacket, like looking like a homeless person almost, standing behind the shelves. And I was like, um, we're going to call her Caitlin for now. 
was like, Caitlin, is, um, is that you? And then she just kind of looked down and started chuckling. And then I look up and I make eye contact with Caleb. And, you know, he sees me, I see him. And he just, his eyes get really wide and he runs out the door and grabs her by the arm and pulls her out. And as he's pulling her out, I notice on the back of her ja the jacket she's wearing is a League of Legends emblem, which is the same jacket that my supervisor wore almost every single day. And everything clicked in my mind. And I realized, yeah, I, I lied to you guys. There was obviously, it had started back at the, uh, the, um, what was it? Next Big Thing? It had started at Next Big Thing and just escalated from there. And I actually found out that on my birthday, he was going to go see her. And he was ditching me to go hang out with her, which was rather upsetting uh, in its own, you know, mind. Because he was my best friend that got me my job and stuff. And I was like, I, I was just, I was extremely upset about the whole situation. And I actually, uh, I just went home and I sat in my room and I didn't leave. I didn't do anything. I like watched TV and that was about it. And they tried calling me, you know, texting me, trying to find out if I was okay. And I just, I didn't answer them. And after a while, they, they stopped texting me, stopped trying to find out if I was okay. And then I was just going back to school and whatnot, you know, living my life. And one day I'm at school and I hear some laughing off in the distance. And I just kind of glance up and I notice it's my supervisor, Caleb, uh, walking with his friends down the sidewalk. And I just kind of see him and he sees me. And as he gets closer, I hear him point or like tap his friend on the shoulder and say, you see that kid over there? I fucked his girlfriend and now she's my girlfriend. And I just started physically like convulsing. I thought maybe I was going to have like a seizure or something. And all of a sudden I saw red. And I know that's like, I always thought that that was a metaphor for rage, but that was truly what I saw. And I was very very upset with my current situation and I ran over to him and I beat on him I, I fought him uh, he didn't really fight back that much um, I am you know my name is wrestler Blake because I am a wrestler I was a wrestler in high school and college and I did MMA for some time so he didn't have much of a, a chance being the guy that he was and Eventually his friends pulled me off and I think I either broke his nose or I gave him two black eyes because when you break someone's nose it automatically gives them like two black eyes and I saw him the very next day and he had two black eyes so I, I don't know if I broke his nose I don't think I did I'm pretty sure I just gave him two black eyes which would be a weird situation because I thought I only punched him like twice but you know so I see him the next day at work and I had requested to my boss before this, I had said, I don't want to work with Caleb. I don't want to talk about why, because I don't want to lose my job, but I do not want to work with him. Do not schedule me with him. And he said, okay, you know, that's fine. And he, Caleb had gone to work and told my boss that I assaulted him and that I needed to be fired uh, because I was, I was making it a hostile work environment. And he said, okay well let me take Blake to the back and we'll talk it out and I told him this whole story that I just told you guys and he said you know you didn't do it on the or in the workplace on work hours so I'm not gonna you know do anything about it that was your business that's his business however uh, Caleb and then he walked out and he said Caleb you need to hand me your polo and your name tag because I don't want you working here anymore and I was just kind of in shock. I was like, whoa, what just happened? And Caleb was obviously in shock. And he said, you know, why am I being fired? And then my boss said, well, if you're not going to be truthful and your employees can't even trust you, then how can you be a supervisor at my GameStop? He's like, how can I trust you if I can't even trust you to be, you know, to be essentially, to be human towards your other employees? Like, yeah, I, I feel like your supervisor shouldn't be sleeping with the younger or the uh, underling employees if you will uh, shouldn't be sleeping with their girlfriends and uh, obviously Joe agreed and Caleb was uh, obviously very upset he just lost his job 
and he left and um, that's uh, that's really about it um, I guess update on them I haven't talked to them I mean obviously since that time and it's been it's been uh, at least a full year now and I believe they might still be together I'm not sure I mean could be could not be I mean I honestly I I don't care anymore because now I find it as a funny thing that I'm gonna post on my YouTube channel but um, let me know hey let me know if you guys enjoy these these Blake shitty girlfriend stories if you do leave a like maybe a comment uh, you can subscribe to my channel to see the next video and uh, hey you guys have a great day all right bye <laughs>